Good morning everybody, Stephanie with Vitality Health Solutions and right now I'm going live to show you how to turn your, your smoothie into a chocolate frosty or something that you will really enjoy and look forward to. So just a few little hacks that make them delicious. So first of all, obviously I've got my Vitamix. I start off with the base liquid. I either, I use this stuff called Zevia and it is, um, this is root beer or cream soda depending on what flavors if I'm doing like a vanilla one, I'll use the cream soda and a banana flavored protein. Um, for this one, since I'm doing a chocolate frosty, I'm going to use a little bit of root beer. And this is just root beer flavored, but it's flavored with stevia instead of um, sugar. And so I pour a little bit of that and it gives it a sweetness and a great taste. And then I take, this is, it's upside down because you put it in the fridge and then empty the liquid off a scoop of full fat coconut milk and that makes it nice and creamy gives it a thick consistency because I'm going to want to eat it like ice cream when I'm done so we got our full fat coconut milk our Zevia then from here I just put whatever vegetables in some people would use fruit and because this is my chocolate frosty it's not even I don't even need the fruit to sweeten it because of all this stuff so I put in my cucumber I've got some celery and then from there, I mean, you don't have, just pick whatever greens you have in your refrigerator. So I have a piece of kale, a piece of bok choy. From my garden, I got some fresh basil and fresh mint. Just shove it full of whatever. I got some parsley and cilantro, really good for detoxification. Easy to get in in a smoothie. And then just some green leafy stuff that I had in my refrigerator. So loaded with nutrition. I've got my stevia or my zevia. I've got my full fat coconut milk, and this one's going to be chocolate. I always choose to use a. Um, this is just a chocolate flavored green, and I like this one because it really does taste like chocolate. So I put a scoop of that in there, and because I really like chocolate, I still take my. Um, this is just organic Dutch cocoa powder, and I'll add a little bit of that. Give it a real chocolate flavor. I put a drop of stevia just to give it that sweetness. And you don't have to do this when using the Zevia pop. <laughs> um, and then put whatever additives, like sometimes I'll add in some fermented turmeric. You could use fresh turmeric or fresh, fresh ginger. I actually like these better because I find I don't like the taste of the ginger in my smoothie. So I try to get that elsewhere or in another, from another source, something like this. You can add maca, which is wonderful for the adrenals. Just put whatever additives you want in there. This I'm going to add in. I've got my bone broth. This is peanut butter um, flavored protein, and I really like this in my chocolate smoothie. Like I said, sometimes I'll use banana when I'm doing a vanilla flavored one. So I've got my scoop of protein. So I got all my goodies in there. I'm going, oh, get my lid, sorry. And then this is going to get loud for a second, but you just have to blend it for just a second. Just till everything's all blended up and nice and smooth. And then as I pour this out, you're going to be able to see that this is nice and thick and creamy. So this is gonna be like, uh, like I'm gonna eat it with ice cream. So make sure you can see it. So it's nice and thick and creamy. And then even if you put it in the fridge to make it colder, it'll get thicker. And then what I like to do is right here, I just had some coconut flakes that I was, um, that I toasted. So I like to pour these on top, put a few organic cacao nibs for my chocolate chips. And voila, I've got a smoothie or a sundae with my toppings on it. And it tastes delicious. Like I said, different flavors, different vegetables. You can make it different every single day. But a few tricks with the full fat coconut milk. If you don't have that, you could use avocado because it blends really well and makes it thick and creamy. Um, the Zevia, I feel like is a good um, secret. So a ton of ideas, but it's something you'll actually look forward to instead of dreading that smoothie every day, which is going to give you the most nutrition. Please comment below, share your recipes, uh, like the video, share the video, and this is Stephanie with Vitality Health Solutions. Bye guys!